the YouTube painting tips coming up. I'm painting the cabinet area where I'm going to put my audio rack. And, uh, but I'm not going to talk about that today. What I'm going to talk about is painting. Now, when you're building a home theater, a lot of people want to do uh, very dark colors. Like you can see, I've done a maroon. Uh, the dog's going to start barking again. <laughs> there they go. Anyway, um, dark maroon and black, um, as you can see over here. I've been doing black and maroon. And as you can see here, this is gray. This is primer. Now, don't use white primer when you're doing dark, rich colors like this. It just doesn't turn out well. And you end up using a lot more paint and more coats. Now, for example, this dark red would have, if I'd done white primer, probably would have been uh, four coats. And that starts to add up because this stuff isn't cheap. I use really high-end stuff from Sherwin-Williams or Benjamin Moore. Those are my two favorite paints. Um, the Emerald series at uh, Sherwin Williams is fantastic. You can even get it with urethane in it, and it makes it like super tough. That's great for baseboards and casings, moldings, etc., etc. But let's get back to the gray here. Whoop, there's my finger. I always forget that the camera's backwards. Um, so let's get back to the gray. Um, primer, it's just general purpose primer. Doesn't cost a lot, like $28, $30 a gallon versus $50 to $60 to $70 a gallon for uh, the <laughs> the maroon stuff or the black stuff. So, um, but it comes white, so what you do is you ask them to tint it, and it comes in, uh, at least at Sherwin-Williams, it's uh, P1 through 6. P1 just being a little bit, P6 being a lot, so much darker. This is a P5, and I actually regret not going to do a P6. I got P5 because I thought P5 would be dark enough for the maroon. It's not. So as a result, I had to use more paint and some spots had to do an extra coat. If I'd gone with a P6, I would have gotten away with only two coats. Some spots I had to do three coats. Now, if I did the P6 under the maroon and under the black, it would have been one coat of primer, two coats of black, two coats of the maroon. And uh, that's a little money-saving tip there and uh, also to make sure that your colors come out right. For example, when I was doing the testing on the wall over there, um, it was on a beige-ish, tan, yet vomit kind of color. I just really hated it. Um, well, that color is going to show through a little bit. Even if you put two, three, four coats on, that tan is still going to work its way through. So that's why using a primer before putting up your reds or your maroons or your burgundies or your blacks or whatever, always a good idea. So if you're doing really dark colors, go to Sean Williams, general purpose primer, and ask for P6. So that's my tip. Happy painting.